was Whitney Houston and her mother Sissy's memorable performance of the gospel song, I Know Him So Well. Yesterday marked the one-year anniversary of the tragic death of Whitney, and now her mother is sharing the most intimate and troubling parts of her daughter's life in the new memoir, Remembering Whitney. Would you please welcome back Sissy Houston. Welcome, Miss Sissy. Hey. You know, it's been a year since the accidental drowning of your daughter, Whitney, and I know we're such big fans, and I sit there and go, I can't believe she's gone. So for you, uh, how are you handling this loss? I'm just handling it. It's God's work, and there's nothing I can do about it. Mm -hmm. You just wake up sometimes, and you go, I, I can't believe my daughter's not here? Absolutely. Oh, my goodness, you Almost know. Almost every morning, I do. But, um... I'm getting through it, you know, I'm getting... Yeah. The day by day kind yeah. of thing. I believe she's with her maker. You know, you had a childhood name for her, which was Nippy. <laughs> and we had, a, we had the perception of who Whitney was, but who, who was Nippy to Nippy you? She was the sweetest little girl you'd ever seen. You know? <laughs> yeah. She was always, mommy, mommy, mommy. She would talk to people on the bus. Mm -hmm. that she didn't know. Yeah. And I told her, you can't do that, baby. She said, but mommy, why? You know, she said, oh, it's why. But she said, good morning. You know, that language. She was just friendly and beautiful. You raised an open heart. That's what you did. Now, I have to ask you this, and I'm sure a lot of people are going to say this to you. What made you write the book? Because it, it feels like it's still so fresh. And why? Yeah, well, I thought I would write it. So people... Everybody in the world was trying to write a book, you know, so mm -hmm. that's what made me write a book. I wanted to let everybody know that she was really nothing like they thought she was. Right. She was a wonderful, giving, loving kid. Kid, still. Mm -hmm. She always wanted to not grow up, you know. Yeah. She did that, and she wanted to, she was good to people, and just great. Yeah. You know, yeah. had a little faults, but like everybody else, you know. Like everybody else. Mm -hmm. Well, in your book, you uh, wrote that Whitney Houston had been married to Bobby Brown for 15 mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. And you and you wrote that you didn't particularly feel that Bobby Brown was good for your daughter. Not at and, all. and wondered what life would have been like had they not been together. I didn't, I, <laughs> well, I would hope that she had found somebody else that really appreciated her. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't talk about children and people's children, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't want nobody talking about mine. Right. So mm -hmm. I'm just not, you know. She loved him, I suppose, you know. Mm -hmm. And she stayed with him and she tried to make it better. And um, it didn't work, you know. People, you can't change people right. who they are. Right. And she thought she could, I suppose, you know. But, um... Hey, he didn't make her who she was. She was who she was. Yeah, that's true. And people have their own life in their own hands. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Listen, I think you do what you do. At one point, I'm told she wanted to walk away from the hubbub of the career. Why? Because she said, Mommy, all I wanted to do was sing. Mm -hmm. And that's what she loved, and that's what she did. And at one time, they booed her, said she had no rhythm and all that. You know, her. some people can take that. Right. She was just, you know, not... She hated confusion. Right. She hated disagreement. You know, when I, my husband and I used to argue sometimes, mm -hmm. oh, please, stop, you right. know, that kind of thing. Right. But she was just a real simple, wonderful person, you know. Well, you know, back in the um, 80s, you were warned that Whitney was... Uh, using drugs and o over the next two decades she struggled with a uh, drug addiction mm -hmm. and you said in the book that in 2005 you saw the worst mm -hmm. and you decided that you would force her into rehab mm -hmm. what was the worst that you saw well i saw her high you know yeah that was the worst for me yeah. you know i never seen her like that before yeah. and you know, when children are doing wrong, they don't come around their parents. <laughs> they always stand away. And that's exactly what she did. You know, I talked to her on the phone, but you can't tell anything on the phone. Right. Yeah. Well, you know, it was also reported that her brothers, uh, Michael and Gary, were also doing drugs. And Michael, mm -hmm. he, he, uh, he said that he introduced her to crack cocaine. How did you feel when you heard that? Crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. About to knock him out. <laughs> but it just, you know, there's nothing I can do about that. I raised three wonderful kids. 
first one, the oldest one was Gary. Mm -hmm. He became a basketball, pro basketball, and had three more credits to get from his degree. He didn't choose to do that. Yeah. The other one was very wonderful and wrote music and all that. Got Michael. He did the same thing. He had 12 credits to get. Mm -hmm. He didn't do that. Whitney became who she was, the most wonderful singer in the world. I did my job. Yes, you did. There you go. Yes, you did. There you go. Yes, you did. Now, you, in the book, you said the last time that you had seen her was Christmas, right before she passed last February. Yeah. What, when you saw her, what was up? She was beautiful. She was in a great mood. And I was waiting for her to come. So, you know, she was doing what she does on working and whatnot, too, mm -hmm. and whatever else, you know. And um, <clears throat> she came. She We were supposed to have Christmas together. Yeah. She said she was coming. And um, they went, and I, I didn't know for sure where they'd come or not, so I just made my plans. Yeah. And I went to uh, Sparta with my friends. And I had dinner and whatnot, and they go, Mommy, aren't you coming over? Da, 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 da. I said, I didn't know whether you guys were coming or not. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm one of those... <laughs> You know, tell I me did. what's going. Tell me what's up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, you know. Yeah, I need to know. And she called. They said they said they were having dinner. And I said, well, I'll come after. Mm -hmm. I leave, and I did. I came down here. They sent a car, and I went to the hotel, and we had dinner. And I was so glad to see them all, all my children together right, at and once. Mm -hmm. Well, Miss Sissy, the book has been written, and Bobby Christina, uh, it's been reported that she's not happy that she wrote a book about her mother. She tweeted recently that she had nothing to do with it. She said she won't read it, and she finds it disrespectful. Um, you have anything to say to that? Do you? <laughs> <laughs> you know when you've been put in check. Yeah, yeah. Disrespectful? So you're yeah. Whatever made anybody think that I would write anything disrespectful about, about my you? daughter. About your daughter. Whom I love so dearly. Yeah. And I love Chrissy, too. I think she's mourning. And she needs to go to therapy. And she also needs to remember that you knew Whitney a lot longer. Okay. Thank so, you. Would you say that again? I said you knew Whitney a lot longer. I'm just saying. Mr. I Sissy, knew her. Thank you so much for coming and just sharing <laughs> and the, the, the nippy. Number uh, four bestseller on the number New York Times bestseller. list. Just <laughs> thank wanted to you put for that. bringing the nippy that we never knew. We want to thank Sissy Houston. Members of our studio audience are going home with a copy of Remembering Whitney, and we'll be right back.